Police put out a call for help finding six suspects in a violent attack at Churchill Station. Police say they beat and robbed a 64-year-old man uh, who was... use on the buses, on the trains. Uh, operators are concerned, very concerned about their own personal health. And Two 12-year-old girls were recently charged with aggravated assault. They're accused of attacking a 55-year-old woman on an LRT platform. Beryl got off the LRT at the Corona station around 7 p.m. last Wednesday. That's when he says he was struck by another man from behind. They say the woman is in critical condition with significant head and facial injuries. Improving transit ridership was on the agenda. Start my journey in Abbotsfield mall my hood where i grew up if anybody knows the eight abbots field is a notorious bus everybody knows about the eight you might see some weird shit when you're riding this bus man but yeah this is where i start my journey bro i remember catching this bus as a kid i haven't caught this bus in a minute it's been a while we're gonna go to the lrt ask some people how they feel if they feel safe riding the lrt if crazy stuff they see in it yeah we'll get some dope content for you guys and we'll we'll kill it <clears throat> yeah thanks bro <laughs> you guys just got off school or what yeah, you like the camera yeah 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 do you guys live in the neighborhood? Yeah? We live, yeah? We live down here too, yeah. Okay. How is it catching the bus? Is it? Uh, it's, it's you get da you feel like your in safety's in danger sometimes or? I feel safe all the time. You feel safe all the time. You know how to carry yourself, eh? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you've seen there's some old man who got jumped on the LRT, eh? Did you see that? Uh, like like three like three, four days ago he got jumped on the LRT. Oh, okay. Yeah, they robbed him, I guess. Uh Last year, 2023, there was 500 violent incidents on the LRT. So now I'm just taking my camera down there and we're gonna vlog and see what we can see down there, you know? And talk to people, see if we feel safe and whatnot, you know? And yeah, man, so yeah, that's my mission today. Huh? I wish you the best of luck for that. Yeah, thanks, man. Follow me on uh, YouTube, DZ the Dawn. DZ the Dawn's World. D E E Z Y T H. The police pull us over. Must have been an accident up ahead or something. What the fuck? Must pull us over, G. We'll get going, we'll get going. We killing it. Accident up there. How to go through the residential. A little detour. And we'll be get at our destination, you know? I'm gonna get off here. This is our stop. I'm gonna shut this off. I'm gonna have a little, have a little tote, a little tote tote. Look at all this fucking garbage and shit here, bro. Trash. Homeless people, obviously. They probably chill up here. Fucking bikes. I guess ever since the Oilers stopped playing here, there's no money coming here, right? So there's no money here to upkeep it.
Oh, shoot. Oh, what happened to your head, bro? Uh, Someone hit you? Yeah, I got burnt. Holy, f you're in a house fire? Yeah. Holy fuck, man. What happened, bro? I fell asleep with a smoke. You fell asleep with a smoke? Oh, fuck. Thank God you're alive, G. Yeah. Fuck, you're lucky, man. Anyways, have a good day, bro. Yeah. Fuck, man. Dude's all burnt up, face all burnt up. Man, that would suck, man. Hands, he lost his hands and shit, too. Tough, man. Enough people passed out, he's probably high. Passed out with a cigarette in his mouth and then fucking... Yeah, that's, that's how it happens. I actually know, know a couple who died like that. They were heavy alcoholics, though. Got drunk and they passed out with a cigarette and fucking burnt in their house. Maybe he was probably high off fed it off. He looks homeless and shit. That's what most of these guys are up to now. I'll do, I'll do it a little video about uh, like the violence and stuff on the LRT station. Uh. Do you guys catch it? Do you guys ride the LRT station? Yeah. How's your safety? How do you feel your safety's on there? Uh, I feel it's okay. I don't, I don't you don't feel in danger? No. I know a lot of people on, on the streets. We do outreach, right? Oh, you do outreach? Oh, so you work with people, like yeah. like here and there. Yeah. Okay. So what do you do? Hand out like uh, harm reduction? Like yeah, needles and stuff like that? Safe supply, snacks. Clothing, yeah? Clothing. Oh, that's awesome, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen a couple days ago, uh, some people robbed an old man, I think, at the stadium station. Six what? people, yeah. You didn't see that on the news? No. You follow Yegwave on uh, Instagram? Uh, no, I just... Uh, yeah, they posted it. Yeah, they posted it the other day. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys do what you want. Um, this is going on YouTube. Would you want to say anything about what you guys do? What you have a... What organization are you with? Uh, we're with Aware. We're with Aware? Yeah. Okay. Cool, bro. When did you guys start this? When's this organization uh, it's start? Been going for more than twelve years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, and you just work in this area or all over downtown? All over inner city. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of hot spots that we hit up. We're doing a pilot project now with um, RNs. Nurses okay. To do wound care and like the people who repeatedly overdose, they have like data of the hot spots. Yeah. So we mainly do those areas, but it's a lot downtown. And there's even some on the west end we mm -hmm. today. Uh, we do harm reduction referrals. We advocate, you know, we're their voice. There's a lot of people who are displaced and angry. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of like help try out. and help, you know, prevent people from getting like STDIs yeah. and like overdoses, right? Yeah, stuff like that. we're like there just to listen to them because sometimes that's all they need is just a listening ear. Like if they're having a bad day or they got mental health issues, Yeah, that's what it is, right? They just need somebody to listen to them. And like all of the police officers and that tearing encampments down people are feeling displaced and yeah. frustrated you know there's uh, little to no resources for housing yeah. and yeah it's the, yeah. Drug, the opiate drug crisis is real yeah it's really yeah. i just on my way here i caught the bus the eight abbott field and i was i ordered something in the mall and the lady just came up to her other friend she's like oh my dad just uh od'd he's in the hospital right now and stuff like that so yeah. i post stuff on my tiktok and they're like i don't know anybody who od and we're like yo you're fortunate then because it happens yeah. to everybody yeah, it's, Vex it, it doesn't discriminate that's for yeah sure. yeah that's for sure yeah. yeah like even workers from up north don't yeah like they don't talk about their drug problems that they develop while they work up there but i mean like it still happens people still die yeah yeah and it even happens to like people who make money so yeah yeah, it's it affects a, everyone. Yeah, really doesn't practice. matter about your social, economic, or no, race or gender. No, yeah, people are dying, and that's yeah. the reality of it. And it's really sad, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just uh, doing a, like a little video. I don't know if you heard me about like violence and crime and stuff on the LRT. How, how do you feel when you ride it? Um, typically, I feel safe, but it's at nighttime that I don't feel safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a little sketchy, you know. But I mean, like, yeah. they don't bother me because I get like we get recognized the street. They're known, yeah. Know? So like, the more we show up, the more they mm -hmm. recognize us. But I mean, like, it could happen to anybody, and yeah. it is scary, like. And it's just like how they shut down these places. They come here because it's warm. 
but at the same time, like, yo, we don't want people getting, like, beat up and stuff and old people robbed and stuff, right? Yeah, that's terrible. Because I don't, like, I, I understand, like, everybody's pain and stuff, too. I don't want to try to shame everybody because, you know, I come from a, like, you know, not too privileged background either, right? So. We live in a multicultural country. Exactly, like, right? Like, it's, there's a lot of blended families. Like, there's, mm. there's no reason for the violence. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Anyways, thank you for your words. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice meeting you. Yeah, DZ. Yeah. DZ the Don's World. Look me up on YouTube. Okay. Do you want to plug in? If you want to add any, drop in your uh, social media or anything. No, I'm if good, thank you're you. good, okay. Have a good night. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Huh? I'm doing a vlog, bro. Yeah, we're. Huh? I said, we're. You doing a music video? No, I'm doing a vlog about the uh, Edmonton the LRT station. There's a lot of violence on the LRT station. I'm asking people if they feel safe. 500 uh, violent reported incidents. Uh, five days ago, that old man just got robbed by like six people. Did you see that on the news? Yeah, and then in the summertime, a guy just moved here from the Congo. Family of seven got stabbed to death at the Belvert. Bel uh, Belvedere Station. So, so I'm just going around and asking them and Tony, do you want to have to say a word or anything like that? I got dropped off. You got dropped off? Hello. got stabbed twice. You got stabbed here? At the LRT? Yeah? Yeah. I got jumped. Yeah. Because I was wearing red. No way. By who? Red alerts? Must be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, bro. But. Yeah. I feel safe here. You feel safe here? I feel safe. So what if you f you see anybody messing with old people or ladies, I you'll step, step in. in. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's probably what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because right? so. uh, people got to check people, right? At the same time, I understand people need a warm place to stay. But at the other hand, like, uh, we don't need old ladies being robbed and old people being robbed and stuff like that, you know? level about cleaning up your area when you're here. You know, yeah. make a mess. Clean it up, man. Treat it like it's your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the thing is that people don't clean up after themselves. People are defecating in the, yeah. in the elevators. So. Yeah. People just need to change their attitude. And I figure if I help one person at a time, you know, that'll reflect. And yeah. um, people will start to see that. Okay. You know, I hand out waters and sandwiches. And that's good. Like that. Are you with the, the harm reduction people? No. Oh, okay. I just spoke to some harm reduction people. Okay. No, man. I just oh. do it. Oh, you just do it? I just do it. Yeah, okay. My dropped me off a group when I was 14 years old and said, this is where you live now. Wow. So, Are you from Edmonton? I moved here in 2008. Okay, 2008. Did you see the city change at all? Is it In the past five, six years, people have become liars and thieves. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Like, five years ago, it wasn't so bad, but... Well, like, ten years ago, it wasn't so much uh, fentanyl and meth, right? Yeah, that's... Because uh, I grew up here, too. It was just mostly, like, coke and crack when I was growing up, but I... I feel like the drugs got harsher and the drugs got cheaper and so that's why everybody's running around here all fucked up like you know what i'm saying uh i'm not one to say but i blame the government yeah the blood yeah yeah i yeah. blame the government yeah yeah putting that shit out you know? yeah because somebody's trying, letting that shit in here covid wasn't about you know saving people or mm -hmm. uh, whatever the virus yeah it was about creating um isolation and nobody had anything else to do besides drugs or alcohol. And the alcohol rate went up, drugs rate went up, and that's when fentanyl popped up, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, during the COVID shit, yeah. yeah and then the government was giving away all that fucking money, right? And overdoses went up, two, 2,000 a fucking yeah, uh, a month. Money. Yeah, drugs. So yeah. That's what COVID was Yeah, about. doing, yeah. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. I agree with that, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Right, man, Anyways, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for talking, brother. Yeah, for thanks, sure. man. Yeah, yeah. Freaking homeless people all through here. It's, it's like they live here. They run this shit, you know? Even like when I was here last time, they were uh, flipping out. Hold on. too much so <laughs> back in the day 
this station, this bus stop's always been kind of rough. Back in the day when I was young, it used to be gangs of native people chilling in this park right here. At least 10 deep minimum. All the time I'd come here to be mad. I think they're, I think they're Alberta warriors too. There's a lot of Alberta warriors back here when I was a teenager. Alberta warriors, for people that don't know, they're a Aboriginal gang and based out of Alberta. And uh, they don't exist no more. But back when I was young, there was a lot of them. And there, there was lots of them in the prison system. But yeah, this station always was fucked. Always had mad gangs of native kids chilling there. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to go back on. Catch our LRT. We'll ask a couple people a few questions. And uh, yeah, we'll do what it do. Peep that. People just nodding off in the in the station, right? And it's like, yo, why did they just let that happen? Back when I was younger, you'd never see people just nodding off here in the train station using drugs. Like, you know, and there's security here, obviously. So, you security? Your safety is important. So how does it feel like uh, people just use drugs in here and stuff like that? Are you told not to bother them? I am told. Are you? You mind a bit? Yeah, I won't. I'll put you on. But sorry. I can't, I can't talk to media. I'm sorry. No. I'm not, okay. What are you told? You told not to what? I won't put you on camera. I'll blur your face. I'm told by the company I am not allowed to speak to media or anything like that. Okay. All right. Have a good day. Yeah. Understandable. You know, I don't want the guy to lose his job, but he's probably told, they're probably telling these guys, their security, let these guys come in here and use drugs and not off in here, bro. What's the point of security if people just come in here and do what they want anyways? People are getting robbed on a train station, beat up on a train station. It shouldn't be like that on the LRT. But yet they'll come probably attack me because I have a camera and I'm talking to people about it. Hello, excuse me, I'm doing like a little vlog documentary about like violence and stuff about on the LRT. Would you guys want to say anything? Do you guys feel safe on the LRT? How do you guys feel when you drive it? Are you on it? I don't feel safe at night. Not at night, eh? What's the craziest stuff you've seen? I've seen, I've seen someone getting beat up. Like, Jumped? Person. Old yeah. person? Yeah. You saw that? Yeah. Wow. I almost got stabbed. You, you almost got stabbed? Yeah. Wow. On it. Yeah, like, yeah. They don't do anything. And nothing changes. Like I just talked to the security guard down here. Security He's like, don't do shit. they don't do they shit. Just eh? stand there like they just oblivious. wow. Even they even let people get beat up and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. Like this one time, I went down Churchill, and this guy had a 12-inch knife. Yeah. Security saw it. They didn't do nothing. No way. I told them about it. They said that we already have the cops on the way. Wow. Yeah. So you're just on your own. You're here to fend for yourself, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn. I know I was here like the other night talking to people and this, this one girl said oh she was getting chased, she was getting groped and stuff by yeah, like two homeless people on, on the train? On the train. Wow, wow. And it, it nothing changes, eh? People record it too. People record it too, don't yeah. even do shit. That's a fucking whack world we live in now today. Back in the day someone step in, maybe punch a guy out or something. You just record it, bro? Like what the yeah. fuck, man? So I don't know, maybe this can bring awareness, spread awareness and stuff like that. The video I'm doing, so yeah, man. What's your name, by the way? Carter. Carter, DZ. 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 Zach. Zach? Emma. DZ. Emma. Okay. So how does it feel? Do you like taking the train by yourself as a woman? Do you feel? No. 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 Yeah. You're always with, like, accompanied by someone, eh? Try not Most to come by time, yourself. Yeah. yeah. So you guys going to save up for a car soon? <laughs> My car broke down. <laughs> Anyways, man, thanks for your time, man. Yeah. Take care, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, man. People are getting fucking beat up. People are getting stabbed. Security don't do shit. You don't want to talk to me. 
We'll call, we'll go to the stadium and we'll see what people are saying at the at the stadium station. Hello, excuse me. I'm doing like a little vlog documentary about like violence and like crime and stuff on the LRT because you see it a lot on the news. I'm just asking people questions like, yo, do you guys feel safe? What do you, how do you guys feel about your safety on the LRT? Uh, I feel pretty. You, yeah, you see any crazy stuff happen? No. No? No, you guys are good? Okay. Yeah. She almost knocked the train over the other day when she ran into it. <laughs> That's about it, yeah. <laughs> you guys use the LRT lots? Uh, no? Not, really. not so much, yeah. I was just talking to people at the next station, and he's like, man, I've seen people getting beat up and, like, people smoking meth on the, on the station and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a mix. Some people say they don't see stuff, but if you guys don't use it lots, right? You Probably. Really see it. On the buses, yeah, um, which than, uh, the than the buses. okay. Yeah. Sorry. But downtown is pretty populated, so you're bound to see a little some bit stuff everything. down there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got to get off at the next stop. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, some people don't see it. Some people do, right? Like I talked to. Talk to some people. More people see bullshit, though, you know, especially if you're using it every day, catching a bus every day. Like those other kids, they look like high school kids, right? So they're probably catching the bus every day. Everywhere they go, they're catching it. So they probably see some fucked up shit. Mm hmm. Stairs, bro. They're gonna make me walk, bro. I think there's someone there sleeping up there. Hello. Hi. Excuse me, I'm doing like a little vlog video okay. about like uh, violence and crime and stuff on the LRT. Okay. Because last year, 2023, 500 violent incidents reported five days ago. So an old man just got attacked and robbed, 65 year old man. So I'm just asking people, how, how's your journey on here when you take it? Do you guys feel safe or? We haven't had an issue yet. Uh, you haven't had an issue yet? Personally, I haven't had yeah. an um, I haven't even been witnessed to you haven't anything witnessed. serious. Anything okay. Sure anything serious. Obviously, some, I've, I've overheard arguments through the headphones, but nothing yeah. got violent yet. Okay, but yeah. That's my personal experience. Yeah, yeah. I, again, but at the same time, I feel like, sorry for cutting you off. No, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, like, these guys only attack, like, old people and, like, women and stuff. From what I see on the news, like, you know? You know, you don't you don't even see it in the news. I, I mean, I, I try to pay attention. Uh, of course, people are going to go for vulnerability. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's, that's a, I think that's symptomatic of aggression. Yeah, sure. yeah. But uh, I, can't, I can't speak to it. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen it. I'm not denying its existence. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm... No I do not business. deny or confirm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, anyways, have a good day, you guys. Thanks for your time. Yeah.
Hello. Hi. I'm doing like a little video vlog documentary about like the LRT station and like violence and stuff because there's like a lot of uh, stuff on the news about it. So I'm just going up to the people and asking them like how do they feel when they ride the LRT and it's okay if, if I put you on camera? Uh, I, no? I'm not so much. You yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. okay. I'm out of town anyways. Yes. <laughs> how do you feel when you ride the LRT? Do you feel safe? Yeah, I, I do feel safe. I oh. use it a lot when I come to town to visit. Okay, where are you from? Well, I live in, um, outside of Vancouver. Oh, okay. I'm originally from Edmonton. Vancouver has their their sky trains pretty crazy too, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, actually, to be yeah. honest, I think that seems yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I, yeah. I'm not a, I, I wouldn't use it at nighttime. Yeah. Though, so. Did you see that uh, report like five days ago? A 65 year old man got beat up and jumped on the LRT station. Did you see that? No. It was on the news, yeah. And then uh, summertime, uh, summertime, a uh, guy moved here from the Congo, a month here, moved here with his family of seven. Some guy stabbed him on the LRT station to death. And then, and then uh, the person who stabbed him was already banned and kicked off the LRT station. And I was just reading an article that came out like, uh, like a month ago. Yeah. Uh, 2023, 500 violent report incidents, you know? So I'm just trying to spread awareness to the community and ask people how they speak, especially you guys, older ladies, right? Because that's that's the people who they target. You're the profile. What do you mean, <laughs> older ladies? <laughs> but that, but that's but when I'm on the news and I'm watching it, it's like they always go after women or they go after like old men. Yeah, I never see a report of like a guy my age, 30 year old, a young guy right, gets like, right. you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm just, I care about my city and I'm just trying to spread yeah. awareness about it. Well, yeah. I think that's good. That's, okay. that's what we need more of. Yeah. That, that positive. Yeah. 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 So Thank where are you showing this video? YouTube. TikTok, oh, YouTube, YouTube, all of okay. it, trying to just spread awareness, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank well, you guys. Good luck with your yeah. good work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day, you guys. Yeah. yeah. So that lady, they feel safe, you know. It's a mixed bag, right? So I don't know if it's fear mongering, but there is a lot of homeless people here, and one person's a too much. Why, like, for one guy to get stabbed out of nowhere, that's pretty crazy, man. So I think I'm gonna go back down this way, and then, yeah finish filming this holy fuck You see that? Those people are smoking fentanyl on that freaking bus stop there. Smoking meth and fentanyl. Yeah, it's fucked. Completely messed up, bro. Holy fuck. There's enough homeless people surrounding us. Hello, I'm doing like a little vlog video about like uh, crime and stuff on the train and just asking people do they feel safe the the, on the train, the LRT station. Because there's a, like you see in the news like some five days ago a man just got beat up and robbed. Yeah. In the summertime someone got stabbed and killed so yeah. I'm just asking, do you see any crazy stuff in the train station? Proof of payment the is required that when I'm, using I'm transit. I'm seeing, seeing. Remember yeah. like, uh, your art card or tickets but it was, it was really cool. Uh, it was around minus 40 or something. Uh, I was traveling through trains and there were only homeless people and I who were traveling to the train. Yeah. So it, it felt really uncomfortable. Unsafe. Yeah. Uncomfortable. Were they using drugs and stuff? Yeah, and yeah. Actually, yeah. Did you see any fights? Have you seen a fight before? No, I haven't, I haven't seen a fight. Yeah. Next yeah, yeah, gratefully, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Well, if you if you could say anything to the mayor of the city, what would you tell him about the train station? 
keep it the way it is or fix it? What would you say? Um, Try not to get political on you. <laughs> yeah. Just. Yeah. Just they pull, need to get fixed. The, yes. Pull back the rule. Yeah, yeah. Of making the drugs legal so yeah. that people can get to the work. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, yeah. And not and they. They don't have to yeah. worry, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that they they have a goal and probably can, can have a home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you for your time, sir. This is my okay. train. Yeah. This one going to university? Yep. Huh? Yeah, no? It's going to hell saying. Oh, okay, like, never mind. Yeah. Are you using a channel or something? Yeah, uh, DZ the Dawn's World. Wait. I just vlog and I just walk around through like different neighborhoods of the city. Yep. And right now I'm just doing the story of the LRT because it just caught my attention, right? Like people keep getting jumped and robbed and people oh, just, I just came from up there and someone was smoking meth there. and smoking fentanyl yeah, up actually, there. Actually, they're always there. Yeah, yeah. They're always there. <laughs> this is not the Canada I thought about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been here for? Yeah. Two and a half months. Two and a half months, yeah. So they, they sold you a lie, eh? Yeah. 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 When you got here, were you surprised to see that stuff on the train? Were you like, what? I can't get surprised. Yeah, you can't get surprised. Nothing surprises no. you, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's my personality to not get surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, D-E-E-Z-Y? -E D-E-E-Z-Y? Yeah. Dawn's World. Okay. On YouTube. Great. Okay, thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks for your time, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> The dude back there is like, yo, this ain't the Canada I thought I was coming to see all that BS happening on the train LRT station, man. Century Park, please stand back from the platform. Next stop, the Central Station. Central Station. Take these escalators. Yeah. You're welcome. <clears throat> Thank you. Excuse me. I'm doing like a video about like crime and violence on the LRT. Like trying to spread awareness. Okay. Like how do you feel as a lady taking the LRT and stuff like that? Do you feel in danger? Um, it's like oh, there's all these homeless people here using yeah. drugs and... No, no, I, I definitely, I see it. I'm aware yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, I personally, it doesn't bother me very much because I've lived in a town for a really long time. And yeah. It's about me, but it's definitely not a place that I would want my kids to be going or to be taking the LRT by themselves or anybody going late at night. Yeah. Um, it definitely is important for us to pay attention to this. And it is, does seem like it's getting worse. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's. Thank you for your time. You're very welcome. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah. Next up, Bay Enterprise Square Station. Exit one oh four Street. All aboard. Bay Enterprise Square Station.
Sur le dessous. Yeah, that's good, bro. <laughs> I listen to your music. Do you? Thanks, bro. Respect. I'm just doing a little vlog about the LRT. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the, uh, the one where you went down that one strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen that one? What's the craziest stuff you've seen on the bus? Do you see the crazy stuff on the bus and LRT and stuff like that? I saw a crackhead shooting on the You seen crackhead shooting up? No, like, actually taking a shit. Oh, a uh, shit on the bus? Yeah. Holy f Oh, my gosh, bro. What happened? Did he get kicked off? No, he, he just took a took, took a dump and dipped. Wow. <laughs> he couldn't do it outside? Damn, bro. Yo, that's freaking crazy. Hold up. Let me get this back on crap. So what's the craziest thing you've seen on the on the bus? I saw a crackhead take a shit on the floor and just and just leave it there. <laughs> bro, that's disgusting, G. <laughs> Where are you going to, man? Coming home from school? Yeah, I'm coming home from school. I'm going back home. Okay. Thanks, bro. Bless, bro. Thanks for your time, G. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Dude took a freaking dump on the bus and then cut. That's nasty, bro. That's next level, bro. Holy. Here, maybe we could talk to some uh, college to students and see what it do. Our last stop was empty, but I think I got some good footage for today. Hello. Excuse me, I'm doing like a little vlog video about like homelessness and crime on the LRT. Do you guys feel like safe when you... Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. You're in a rush, okay? <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, people, I'm going to think I'm going to end it here. End the video here. And, uh... I'll catch you at the next vlog. I hope you enjoyed this one, bro. I'm out.